It's a journal that helps give a voice to women and children, help bring out into to the limelight the challenges that women and um, children face in ensuring good health. Well, first-time authors who want to publish their work, whether in IGG or any other journal, it's important for them to know the basics of scientific writing. And we as IJGO, we feel it's our responsibility to provide some information on this. So if you go to our journal website, there are slides from author workshops that we've had on how to go about the different aspects of scientific writing and how to analyze data. One of our policies in terms of research is um, related to capacity building. Because as a journal, we don't publish any paper on research for a lo from a lower middle income country that does not have an author from that country. We as an international journal, being the scientific mouthpiece of FIGO, we think it's a responsibility to make sure that people from all the FIGO regions get a chance to showcase their research work to the rest of the world. I mean, the feedback is usually very encouraging. And first, they are generally very happy with the, with the editorial office staff in terms of the support that the staff gave to come out with the final product. And then they're also very happy with the level of professionalism. The thing that keeps me excited about working as an academic clinician is the opportunity to develop new researchers. I mean, to build research capacity, to work with younger clinicians or younger academics who might not be clinicians and help them develop their research skills, encourage them to publish and just bring up the next generation of researchers.